Truck cranking. I'm spanking. Little bass cause I can't be blanking. Just hit them with the rhymes right off the gate. What? We're going bass fishing today. You know what I did not forget, just in case. A scale. A scale. I'm not gonna be caught without one. That's normally where I keep my scale, right on the console. Didn't have it last time when I caught a big bass because I was transferring stuff to the new boat and I just, that was one thing I forgot. Chickens, how we doing? Let me tell you a little something about what we got going on here. We're, we're kind of cultivating the, the yard, put a bunch of leaves in here. We're getting that chicken scratching, pooping going on, get that nutrients involved with it. Then we're kind of mixing up you know, leftover fruits and veggies and coffee grounds and all that kind of stuff in there. And then we're gonna grow, we're gonna grow things with it, potentially. I don't know, but that's, that's what we got going on here. Going to a DFW lake today, never fished it. My boy John uh, hollered at me the other day, said, uh, said the bite was pretty decent out there. Could be a possible flipping bite, maybe a little cranking bite, some pre-spawners, possible spawners right now. We just had major like thunderclouds roll in this morning, but it didn't rain and it stayed warm overnight. That's always key in the spring. We get a warm night, this fish kind of fish kind of get going. It's just a big fish kind of day. Overcast, could thunderstorm on us, I don't know. I just said I gotta get my rods and go because it's a big fish kind of day. So let's head out to the lake and uh, see what we can do. We're floating. Made it out on the water and water temps are looking 58.3. That's good spinner bait, five jig weather, moving baits in general, overcast conditions. We might get jumped on later today, but kind of big fish weather, I think. So I'm gonna start off on the, there's a big dam out here a lot of riprap, it's deep. Uh, I'm gonna fish around there to kind of get a feel. If I can't get anything going there on some moving baits, then I'll, I'll probably head into some pockets and start seeing if there's anything to flip at. I see a couple of marina type areas and this is a city lake, so there's not a whole lot of, um, you know, trees, brush, grass and stuff going on. It's gonna be more like probably fishing a, a shopping cart that's in the water or you know a random log that floated off or something that landed on the bank there's not a whole lot of um, good natural type cover out here but there's a ton of shad I've seen a ton of shad on the graph so definitely a, a lot of life okay I'm gonna dig in some little crankbait box here don't often throw the grande size banger. I think we're just gonna have to give it a try today. Mondo shad right there looks pretty good. So with this grande banger, this is gonna go a little deeper than the standard banger, probably about eight foot. And it's just a bigger profile. And I'm gonna just try I need, I may need to go up to like a recon, get down there a little further. 58, there ought to be some pushing up on these rocks. This is a really good looking dam as far as uh, depth, water clarity go. Um, rocks just coming far out, really good looking stuff. Let's see, a couple of floaties right here. look like jerkable giants jerkable giants right here Carp. 
Oh, this fish is gonna eat my jig. Oh my God. Those are bass floaters. This fish almost ate my jig. Woo, man, we got some big hairy floaters right here. This fish is coming up right away. Right away. <gasps> Ooh, they like this. They like the glide. That fish, as soon as it hit the water, came up and almost cranked it. We'll keep the, the glide at the ready. That was exciting. Okay, I just cast it to a small one and he ate the wacky rig. He spit it out really quick. But he came up and bumped it. So that is going to be my my next good one I see on the scope. That's what I'm gonna throw at him. Also, this is just this is wacky type stuff. There's no wind. The fish came up five feet to get it too. Oh, this fish sees it already. It wants the smoke. Come on. Unbelievable. Unbelievable how they're just they are every every fish I cast to is is going to the bait and nosing it. Okay, well, those fish are just not in the mood to bite. I guess. It's a big, it's, it's a big looking fish. Just up and cruise. I think I had five come right up to my bait. Follow it, follow it all the way in. I'm gonna leave that. I'll probably come back to it. We're just not in the mood to eat right now. If we get some wind or some sort of atmospheric change, I'll probably come back here and see if those fish are triggered to eat. Because I think I can catch a big one there, but. I'm going to slide up into some pockets, look at something different, and just occupy my time dabbling, just doing a little dabbling on some stuff. Um, looks to be some pockets that I can kind of get into over here. I'm going to see. It might be really shallow. I don't know. But I'm just going to get away from that for a second and uh, take a look at something else. Okay, we're going to slide up in here with some jigs, I believe. I do believe. <sighs> this one rod I've been dying to get some good jig bites on this, this muscle. Heavy muscle. Um, black series. This thing is uh, is is built for it. Built for this stuff right here. Fifty nine degree water. Yeah, going through some brush here. Just hidden brush. Police chopper flying over. All right, we're gonna get happy here with a happy trailer. Thread that baby on. Going with a white. Stand out in this dirty water. I was throwing that um, flaming hot cool little combo with a chartreuse but I don't know I'm feeling I'm feeling the winter white every piece of grass I see floating at the surface is stripped clean of its leaves 
so it's either carp just sucking the leaves off of it or these ducks are that voracious oh my gosh what a poop that was didn't even see those comorants up there Some sort of weird breakwater right here. I don't really like that. Here comes the rain. Just a little drizzle. No need for the jacket just yet. Ooh, look at those boat arc roots. Those orange boat arc roots right there. This is the trashiest lake I've ever seen. This little Rubbermaid top right there. It's about a billion styrofoam cups. Jugs. Just trash. I may have to go back to the dam. I said I was gonna go back there and try to target those fish. I was hoping to pop a couple of shallow guys. Get a little shallow bite going. Fart! F-A-R-T, fart. Just boogered up the best open piece of brush out here. regular dig. Oh, it did though. It's an angling error. You're not gonna get bit if you're not getting the stuff though. Tough cookie, tough cookie. <sighs> I'm back at the dam. This is where uh, I had the most activity. I cannot believe I didn't get any shallow bites. Not a one, not a sniff. Uh, most of the bait I've seen is out deeper too. Um, I even tried some docks. Tried flipping a little dock action. Um, I'll tell you one thing. If I ever get a lake home, it's not going to be on this lake. Definitely not. Trying to slow play these fish with a wacky rig. And they are just ignoring it. so calm, there's just no motion. There's nothing happening here. And it's not getting warm enough for them to push up in that shallow stuff. So they're just kind of in a holding pattern. fish. This doesn't even feel like a bass. Oh my god, it's a floater kitty cat. What in the deuce? What in the deuce am I doing with my life? Yeah, he's croaking and everything. That's some wild stuff. That's a floater catfish, man. God, I'm the king of catching floater oddities on oh, a wacky rig no less dude you're lucky you're not you're lucky you're in like a toxic waste lake otherwise I would put you in a well 
Goodbye. Goodbye. I think I'm done with this lake. Oh my gosh. This is some bogus stuff here. Look at that kitty cat slime everywhere. Is that what I'm seeing? Is that what I'm seeing? I, I mean, I might be just a complete idiot. When it comes to this live scoping. All right, one last little go. On a stretch of bank, I wanted to fish, but there was a boat on it earlier. I'm having trouble figuring out where are the fish positioning? Maybe they're gotta be like real shallow or off the bank quite a bit. Just don't see a good mid-depth option for them. Oh, they're okay. So here's a mid-depth cruiser of some species. I don't know what it is. I'll make that clear right now. And this is the trashiest bank I've ever fished in my life. I'm talking... <sighs> Greta would be crying right now if she was in this boat. There's also some current here, which is interesting. I don't know where it's coming from, but I can see the trash wrappers just floating away. Daggum. It frustrates me because I, I know there's some big fish. John showed me some huge fish that he caught out here. And I'm like fiddling my thumbs here. I know if I get one, it's going to be a big one. gonna believe it but I caught a bass I caught him he was shallow there's current moving around this brush and uh, yeah that's not the size I was anticipating not at all the size. I was like, if I could just get a couple bites, I know they're gonna be big. All right, y'all, I'm gonna make a couple more flips down this bank, and then I am Audi 5000. I don't know if it's bad timing, bad luck, I suck, but I cannot get anything going on this lake. Putting it in some good looking stuff too. If I was a big one, this is where I would spawn right here on this steep bank with some rocks on it. Fifty-nine degree water, not quite spawning temps, but oh man, it's close. Gosh, that's what we came here for. Come over here. Give me a big ass face. Oh. Worked pretty darn hard for you, sir. Golly. 
and that's probably a six over six giant fish I was literally about to leave oh, I'm gonna get a weight on that fish oh my gosh that just made it worth it right there fish was off the bank a little bit just a little bit y'all literally I was about to lift up the trolling motor that one that one fish just made my day made my day made my trip out here worth it that's a fat fat pre-spawner okay I brought my scale this time y'all get a weight on this fish all right here we go that fish is seven seven ten y'all seven ten seven pounder a fat one that makes all the effort I spent today worth it look at that fat belly sow getting ready to spawn All right, let's let this pig go. Caught her in the tongue, which is never good. It's not healthy for him, so try to let her go real quick. Come on. There you go. Oh, golly. Oh, I knew there was some big fish in here. And I finally caught one of those elusive fish. Oh, my God, it has been a grind, y'all. Just the conditions today not been conducive for getting bites i thought it was going to be i thought it was going to be just big bass going crazy but just being so calm just zero water movement i think really put these fish in just a, a stupor this lake is literally trash like it's just trash all around me the fishing, I can't say, has been good for me. I know if I had the right day, I would probably put a big sack together out here, but hey, that's why we come. That's why we come this time of year, try new lakes, and get after it so we can catch big fish like that. All right, y'all, I am going to sign it off from Turd Creek here on uh, Lake Arlington. This is... This is the trashiest lake I've ever fished. And they need a massive cleanup project out here. It is incredible. I bet at times you could catch fish under trash mats, like floating trash mats, that crazy. I can't say that I'll be back here just because it's so unappealing to fish just trash wise. It sets up how I like to fish, shallow, you know, throwing those power baits and stuff like that, but just a little rough. I like to go fishing and breathe in the fresh air, see the see the life, the wildlife and everything, not not look at trash. So giant fish in here, they will be moving up here soon. I, if we would have had a sunny day today, the creek that I'm in right now that I'm fishing in, it would have been, uh, it would have been a pretty decent flipping bite, I feel like, but because of this overcast, uh, and the water temp's not quite getting into the 60s. These fish are just kind of suspended and in, in a holding pattern, just getting ready to spawn. But hopefully you learned something out of it today. Maybe not. I grinded my butt off out here, so hit that like button at least. And you guys got to go get you some happy trailers. It's a musty. It's one of those musties at googansquad.com. Uh, definitely get this color, the, the white pearlescent color. Fantastic. Uh, vibe jig trailer you can also drop shot it throw it on a straight jig head if you want um, get you some of those because uh, it's it's vibe jig season and also the lipless crankbaits you know get you some lipless load up on that stuff right now because it is that's the thing to be doing very soon very shortly i'm gonna get on a jig bite somewhere so i just need a sunny day of this fish to move up get in there with that juicy jig just die hit them hit them with that big hook set 
and crappie. Excited about crappie, but there's giant bass running around and I'm glad I came out here, experienced it, and I caught a big one at least. So thank you guys for tuning in. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more outdoor action. And I'll see you guys on the next one.